Hi friends, it's Queen Alita. I'm back today with a prophetic message from the Lord. This one is based on the last video that I did, um, the dream that I shared in that last video. So I just want to welcome you back to the channel. And if you are new, welcome. Um, please note that not every prophetic message is meant for everybody. So you've got to take it to the Lord. If, you, if it resonates in your spirit and you really, really want to run with the word, make sure that you have that conversation with the Lord, that you're able to hear from him as well. Ask him for confirmation. He'll be sure to give it to you. It is so important that you are able to hear his voice for yourself. That is the most important thing to have a relationship with him. Okay. And I know that for some of you, this word is going to be confirmation. Um, and I know that um, you may have questions or you may need to understand more. Again, take it to him. He's going to fill in those gaps for you, okay? So, um, like I said, this is based on the dream that I had, uh, that I'd shared in the last video. I am going to try and remember to link that video somewhere in the description below. Um, but if I don't, you can just go to my um, channel page, click videos, and just look for the video before this one. Um and there I share the dream in detail but basically it's the dream where I was uh I boarded a bus with a friend and the front was crammed the middle wasn't so was a little bit more spacey but the back was completely empty and I chose to sit in the back and the message in that uh, video was that you know um God is um bringing you to a time or to a space where you're going to be um pioneering and leading in an area that a lot of people haven't been wanting to touch they haven't been uh you know there's just been this um kind of avoidance of certain areas and god is sending you to kind of run with that in whatever industry that um he's sending you into um and you're going to uh, actually be a leader and people are going to start to follow what you're doing even though nobody was brave enough to kind of go there um, so this really has to do with courage, having courage and being brave. And that's what the message is today, really. Um, it's so what the Lord was showing me through that dream is what I just mentioned. And of course, just this aspect of being bold enough, being courageous enough to do those things that everybody else is avoiding, to do those things that might get you canceled, if that makes sense. So um, he had me thinking about David and uh, Goliath how you know David's journey to fighting the giant and just what happened with that whole scenario so I'm going to read a few uh, verses from 1st Samuel chapter 17 which is so interesting because I've been seeing the number 17 a lot um, it has been months and months and months of seeing that number 17 and uh, it's amazing how this chapter is the one where David has his first a victory in battle and the number 17 represents victory in the bible so um i just love that correlation and so i'm going to read a few verses i'm not going to read the whole uh chapter i do encourage you to go back and read the whole chapter um the first uh few verses i want to read is first uh, samuel 17 verse 8 up until 11 and it reads as follows Goliath stood and shouted a taunt across to the Israelites. Why are you all coming out to fight, he called. I am the Philistine champion, but you are only the servants of Saul. Choose one man to come down here and fight me. If he kills me, then we will be your slaves. But if I kill him, you will be our slaves. I defy the armies of Israel today. Send me a man who will fight me. When Saul and the Israelites heard this, they were terrified and deeply shaken. So, going back to the message I put uh, out in the last video, you are being called to be courageous and brave. That's what uh, it takes to be a pioneer. That's what it takes to be a leader in something, especially in an area that people have avoided for fear of being ostracized, for fear of not fitting in, um, for fear of rocking the boat. You know, they just want to keep their status. But um, God is calling you because you're not about your status, about what people think about you. You're about uh, your father's business. So it's almost like whatever this is that God is calling you into, there's almost like this taunt about it where it's like, dare, dare to do this because, you know, there's so much that can happen to you if you do it. And um, 
a lot of people have been afraid to venture out that way. And you recognize that, but the Lord has put that courage in you to be able to stand up, to not be terrified and shaken, but to say, you know what, I'm willing to do that, right? So now I'm going to read from verse 28, or just verse 28, let's see. But when David's oldest brother, Eliab, heard David talking to the men, he was angry. So David had just asked the men, like, what's going on here? And then they told him what was happening. And David asked, well, what's the reward? He wanted to know what he was going to get for slaying this giant. So his brothers were angry at him. Like, what are you doing around here anyway? Um, Eliab demanded. What about those few sheep you're supposed to be taking care of? I know about your pride and deceit. You just want to see the battle. And um, this this is just indicative of someone who um, was trying to belittle David. And as you move forward into what God is uh, sending you into um, to become a pioneer and a leader, you are going to have people that are going to try and make you feel like you you shouldn't even try um they'll remind you of your humble beginnings because that's all they know of you or at least they're not they're choosing to see you as the person that they grew up with you know that they've known for all those years and they're refusing to see the growth and the change in you to them you're still that person who used to do this um and you're still doing those things that they have known you to have done when you were younger and immature in your walk with the lord And they just don't see how much you've matured, how much you've changed, how refined you've become because they don't want to. Um, It's unsettling sometimes. The the, the change that the Lord brings in a lot of you is going to unsettle a lot of people. Um, It's going to make them feel bad about themselves. You know, they like the old you because the old you was on their level if not in their eyes you were lower than them and you know at least they had a one-up on you in their uh, minds but to see you thriving and overcoming some things and becoming refined it's almost like they're in denial and they just want to bring you back to that place so um they'll even call you things like prideful and deceitful and you just here for uh your own selfish gain you know his brother said to him or david's brother said to him you just want to see the battle and david knew that he was on a mission he knew that he had been trained up refined for this kind of thing um so um it's important that you stay focused and don't let the naysayers discourage you and take you backwards all right so um moving on to verse 32 uh, i think i'm going to read from 32 up until 37 don't worry about the philistine david told saul so now david is in front of saul because saul heard about what he had said and then david says to saul i'll go fight him don't be ridiculous saul replied there's no way you can fight this philistine and possibly win You're only a boy, and he's been a man of war since his youth. But David persisted. I have been taking care of my father's sheep and goats. He said, when a lion or a bear comes to steal a lamb from the flock, I go after it with a club and rescue the lamb from its mouth. If the animal turns on me, I catch it by the jaw and club it to death. I have done this to both lions and bears, and I'll do it to to this pagan Philistine too, for he has defied the armies of the living God. The Lord who rescued me from the claws of the lion and the bear will rescue me from this Philistine. Saul finally consented. All right, go ahead, he said, and may the Lord be with you. So the Lord is showing us here that whatever it is that you're going to be pioneering, you're not just going to walk into it with ease. There is going to be resistance. People are going to try and reason with you. You know, this is a different type of person, not the same as as, uh, David's brother who has known him all his life. So I'm not talking about the people that have known you all your life who are trying to keep you at their level or lower, but really people that are just trying to use human logic and human wisdom saying, but you don't have the experience. You're, you're just not talented enough or whatever they may think. And, um, you may have to plead your case. You may have to, um, I don't want to use plead your case. You know, you may have to show your credentials and um, explain, you know, how far you've come, what you have under your belt that will help you to achieve the goal that's at hand. 
And with that, the Lord is going to open the doors for you. Just you being brave enough, being persistent and saying, you know what, I am, this is who I am and this is what I'm going to do. Um, And I'm not going to allow anyone to tell me who I am and what I'm capable of because I already know who I am and I already know what I'm capable of. Um, And I think with a lot of um, people that will give opportunities to others, they want to see that. They want to see somebody who's tenacious who doesn't give up easily. And that is what the Lord is speaking to you today, saying he's trained you up, he's refined you, you are ready. And the, when those doors start to open, with when those opportunities start to come up, don't shrink back, don't shy away because of naysayers or people using human wisdom and human logic um, to try and make you feel like you can't do the task that is at hand. You most certainly can. So that's the word for today. I pray that it's encouraged whoever it's meant for. And I will see you in the next video. Always remember that God is a good father. He loves you so much because you, my friend, are so deeply special to him.